This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. For the next two days, WENY News will bring you the latest from the Schoharie County Courthouse as the fourth Cal Harris murder trial gets underway. Judge Richard Mott will begin hearing opening statements this morning. He will decide Harris's fate instead of a jury this time after granting Harris's request for a non-jury trial on Monday. Harris is accused of killing his wife Michelle back in 2001. WENY's Ross DiMatte will be in the Schoharie County courtroom today. You can follow him on Twitter for live updates and tune into WENY News at noon and this evening for live coverage from the courthouse. A fatal overdose in West Elmira has police and the Chemung County District Attorney's Office on high alert. The overdose happened Tuesday night at 88 Cleveland Avenue. These pills you see here were found at the home along with instruments to crush and snort them. The pills were tested and found to be laced with fentanyl, according to the DA's office, which is where the widespread health risk comes in. There is an ongoing investigation into where these pills are coming from. WENY News will continue to look into this story this afternoon. A Western New York man is on the run for allegedly gunning down two people in a parking lot. And now the U.S. Marshal Service is ramping up the search for Dominic Cruz. On January 10th, the fugitive allegedly shot 25-year-old Mark Sternen and 24-year-old Tyler Sudeikis during an altercation in Tonawanda. Sternen died. Sudeikis was critically wounded. There is now a $2,500 reward for information leading to an arrest. Police were able to track Cruz down two days later at his job, but Cruz escaped through a side door. Authorities believe he may have fled the state. He's described as a 5'4 male of Puerto Rican descent. He weighs about 140 pounds and has black hair and brown eyes with numerous tattoos. And it looks like this past hunting season was a safe one, for the hunters at least. New York State officials say there were no shooting fatalities this year for the first time since the 1950s. There were about 23 hunting injuries, but that's down one from 2014, and it's the third lowest number on record. DEC officials credit the agency's hunter safety education safety programs with helping to reduce the number of accidental shootings. And now here's Craig Flint with today's forecast. Hey, Craig. Hey there, Leanne. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Here's what to expect today. Temperatures are way above average again by some 20, 30 degrees. And it's going to remain very mild through Friday morning. And then once we get into the finish of the day Friday, temperatures will start to turn a little cooler. And then much colder by the weekend. As a matter of fact, we go from the 50s Saturday into the 30s on Sunday. And oh, by the way, there's probably going to be a little swath of snow Saturday night into Sunday. And it could be good enough for some of the higher elevations to pick up a couple few inches. So a little snowy at times. Uh, Saturday night and then again Monday another little system may spread some light snow in today windy and warm south winds 15 to 25 miles an hour should put our temperatures 65 to 70 and there will be a few scattered showers developing through the course of the day today and overnight tonight windy periods of rain 55 to 60 so there you go as we head into the afternoon notice at five o'clock we've got uh, some scattered showers uh, working their way on through the region here. And as we head into the overnight as well, uh, some periods of rain and maybe even a thunderstorm. Notice this behind me here as we head into noon, or I should say midnight tonight. Watch as this works its way to the east. It will cross through here fast as we uh, put the maps into motion. You'll see it come through. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there were a shower, thunder shower moving through as we head into the morning. Some of these darker uh, colors here, the yellows and oranges may indicate a little bit of thunder and lightning around Watkins Glen and then maybe also over the northern tier as well. Through the afternoon, scattered showers will try for some breaks of sunshine. Midday highs will be in the mid 60s and then turning colder by the finish of the day. So that's what that little yellow arrow there indicates falling temperatures. Saturday, isolated rain showers, lower 50s and then Saturday night, into Sunday morning, uh, a period of snow. And again, some of the higher elevations may pick up a couple few inches. A strong wind on Sunday and 34 degrees, so kind of a rude awakening there. There's that new bit of light snow here on Monday, highs in the upper 30s. Chilly on Tuesday, 36, and then a little bit more like April by Wednesday with highs in the mid 40s. Leanne? 
Thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day, everyone.